Um, um, Davi and I are just friends. She's just a great colleague of mine. She's like a sister to me, actually. I've always said that teach a man how to fish, feed him for a lifetime. Find the person that stared this Nollywood YouTube movies and make his family beg for a lifetime. What the f YouTube movies are bad, and I've seen a lot of them. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, but I fear that they are here to stay only because they are monetizable. And when you have monetization on YouTube, what you get is quantity over quality. Today I'm going to be reviewing Fame and Fury, another Bimbo Ademoye's movie. Is it good? <sighs> Let's see. The movie wasted no time in introducing us to a Nollywood actress named Dabi as she's dating this oil mogul, if that's a word. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. His name is Deolu Bode Harris. And honestly, I don't know if it's only me that noticed this, but every time Tom mentioned his name, they just mentioned it in full. So Mr. Bode Harris unless you drive his big boy cars. Wow! Beautiful! That's what money would make you do. But in Hollywood movie, nothing is as good as it seems. There's always a plot twist you can see coming from afar. You would think a wealthy man like him won't have any flaws that money can't solve. But Bode is an overprotective and insecure man. And it's not the kind of overprotective that all those babes on Instagram will say, I want my man to be overprotective over me. Not that one, it's the weird kind. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. He hates that she acts in Nollywood, and I don't blame him at all. I rather my babe steals for a living than me allowing her to do YouTube movies. But he's a good man. He gives her his Rolls Royce to drive around, and she takes the Rolls Royce straight to buy water to, um, from this lady. She just wanted to flex a little bit. I would do the same thing too. <laughs> Dabi, on the other hand, is a good actress. She's loved in the streets. So the fact that a man she loves that is also paying her bills wants her to just get pregnant and work for him doesn't sit well with her. It's 2024. Women want careers now. You're the one who's limited in your mind to think everything rolls around oil and gas. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. But the sad thing is that nobody wants to listen to her. But I like the fact that she went to go and see Bodhi's mom to see if she can change his mind. And I totally understand this angle. His mom, being a woman, would really get where Dabi is coming from and talk to her son. Mommy, you watch my movie. <laughs> I would never. No, I would never put a vulgarity that you choose to humiliate yourself in. She hates that she's making YouTube movies. She's just like her son. Dabi can't win no matter what. <laughs> So let me explain why they would eventually break up. Dabi gets this movie role that would be life-changing for her and her family, which we've never seen at this point. But they is like, shut up, I will double it. Tell me how much they're paying you. Five million, I give it ten. So you will leave that your house in Aja and come to my home in Banana Island. They actually never told us where he stays, but from the way the guy they talk, it has to be banana or nothing else. They fight and he ends up shouting on her. Then he travels to Dubai for a walk trip. He's into oil so he goes there to go and check what the oil is saying i also do the same thing too she's like nah man can't take this from a man i act youtube movies you need to respect me more because this movie she's going to act now is probably going to give her a grammy spoilers a lot he didn't give her a grammy <laughs> how hold on bro how he comes back from Dubai and she pretends like she didn't take the movie role. So he apologized by getting her a brand endorsement in the form of an SUV. Because I know that Bimbo be getting her money. That's a brand right there. It's too expensive for me, man. Your target audience ain't here. <laughs> he finds out that she's acting behind his back and they have this big fight again. Some words were said from here and there. She packed her things and she was like, you know, I, I can't deal with this again. But it was Shakara. But if you're in the comment section when she packed her things, and left him, you could hear in the comment section the amount of babes that have struggling boyfriends shout, No baby, please, don't leave him. <laughs> the class ain't green on the other side. <laughs> We're all suffering. <laughs> But she believed in herself so much that she bounced and honestly, I support her. She was doing the most, as I said earlier. So what happened next, you might be wondering. But before we go there, let's watch this ad from me best. Alright, hi guys. Um, pan down, pan down. Show them, show them. 
keep going. Show them from down to up. Thank you very much. You must be wondering where I got this trouser. To get this information, subscribe to my YouTube channel, my podcast YouTube channel, by the way. Zero Expectations. And watch the whole podcast. Subscribe. Thank you very much. Yeah, back to review. After the mini separation, Debbie finds it hard to focus. And I don't blame her. If someone was sponsoring me as hard as he was, I won't be breathing well anymore. <laughs> Rolls Royce? <laughs> Who won't give me that one? <laughs> she kept checking if he would care, but he did it. And in that small period, but this biggest fear in terms of acting would come to pass. This worker pass named Paul starts getting really close to her, saying that he's a big fan of her acting and would want her to be his mentor. Even went as far as to name her YouTube movie. <laughs> And all of them sounded like it were YouTube movies, actually. I've no lying. Let's go. Uh, Unguarded, um, Sensational Spy 1 and 2, Aura for Aura, okay. In the Missing, The Spy, The Amazing Spy Thriller, Angel of My Life, um, Do Me, I Do You, the comedic <laughs> blockbuster. Ah, there's this last one. The hell, <laughs> Joe Godo. She tried talking to Bode, and Bode was first, he cared about her. Then he was like, are you at the movie set? She said yes. He said, oh, Yana, <laughs> where you did, Yana? Where do you want from me? <laughs> you know me before. Ah, ah. Paul then entered phase two of his toasting, fully taking advantage of Dabi, getting her favorite food, which is Ofada rice, just after she threw up on him because she was sick. Don't worry, the heartbreak can make you do a lot of things. And he bought one too many Ofada for her, and she was like, hmm, let me help this his struggling career. But wait, if you think that was too cheap for her to fall for him, um, he also said this. Being humble when people appreciate my crap. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not flattering you. <laughs> No, it's a fact. My, your, your, your body's art. I mean, it's all right. Like, overrated as f in my opinion. I mean, honestly, that line was mad. I will use that on my next beat. She will love me. Finally. <laughs> Paul starts winning. She gave him acting gigs and he gave her more brand endorsements as presents. And before we can say anything, they do the do and he did it so well that my guy moved into her house and he started boring her things. It is what it is. It is what it is. I know the babes with struggling boyfriends saw this coming because there's one thing God gives men that don't have money, the ability to last long. <laughs> <laughs> so they said it's coming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I want that was, I'm thinking about it. They're probably the going session like, mm hmm. Everything that Sabi do when it comes to that bedroom. Now we <laughs> But as I said, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Paul starts showing his true nature. And let me tell you, it's worse than you can ever believe. I could mention all he did, but it would be too long. So let me mention the things I can remember. He said she overacts. He shouts on her. He asked for 20 million to buy a car. He's still living in a house. He said, hey, why don't you enter taxi while I use your car? He shouts more on her and her friend. He's still living in a house, by the way. What? He sends stories to blogs to make it look like they are both dating. He said she shouldn't take jobs without him being in the film since he wants both of them to become power couples. He shouts on her and tells her multiple times, I'm not lying, to apologize to him. It was weird. He told her to dress down at his movie premiere just so she wouldn't steal his shine. That didn't make sense. He toasts women in her presence. He denies dating Dabi, calling her his sister. He rents a house while he's still owing her money, by the way. He's an idiot for renting a house that put an AC near the door. Don't forget, he borrowed 20 million from her. He rocks babes in the presence of his babe. He tells brands to drop Dabi because she is washed up. I listed a lot, but if you watch the movie, you will know <laughs> he did way more than what I said. And she still took him in. She even found out that he was once married to this woman and she still made excuses for him. This babe is genuinely dumb. <laughs> I'm not lying. But she had it up to here when she found out that she lost the brand deal because of him and she plotted with her manager to end his career. The plan was simple. Insult him to the point and record him hit her. That would make the blog happy because there's nothing more okay let me not speak that joke <laughs> okay. but explain to me how she placed the camera this high but in the video itself you can see that the light came from the sun which makes no sense and the angle changed to a lower frame which also makes no sense to me but, but again what am i saying it's a 
a YouTube movie. Logic doesn't matter anymore. He then got arrested and would never be in another YouTube movie again. I am happy about that. I was never gonna watch one. That was how he ended with her getting her life back. But she's still single. As you've noticed, I'm not a huge fan of this movie. The writing was very poor at the end. It started off well, let me not lie. When I saw her driving a Rolls Royce without a driver, I was like, come on. Went to a job with the Rolls Royce without the driver? That's wild. But the ending just, I don't, the ending just fell off for me. I'm sorry. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section. But I believe in the second part, they should make her date an Indian man with two wives. Her job in life is to learn from men. That's her list. I don't know. Uh, they should also call it Fame and Cory. Alright, that's the end of my career. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good man. No, that's it. This is what the mic is. Hey, buy one. Shut up, first. <laughs> Hi everyone, look, pan to the trouser. You might be wondering, where did I get this trouser from, eh? Come, zoom in. Get, get everything, all right. <laughs> all right, are you ready? All right, thank you very much for recording. Why are you holding Ribena? All right, okay, all right, now. You know I'm going to put everything in, but there's no brand, I don't know, Ribena. Ribena is your sponsor, okay? Exactly. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Y'all hugging me from home. <laughs>